And I guess that's scary because if I fail, then it's like, I feel like that says something about me. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting more and more sick of myself and my actions. Like, what is wrong with me? Oh my God. I don't think I've talked about like what I want to do ultimately for like career wise. <laughs> It's 5 p.m. Um, my lecture just ended. It was on fundamentals of the nervous system and nervous tissue. So like a lot of the cells and action potential and stuff like that. And it was so much that I just I really couldn't handle it. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go rewatch that lecture and like do it at my own pace. And that took me four hours for the last lecture yesterday. So I'm just not looking forward to it. And I have homework to do. But that homework's due on Thursday. It's due in two days, so I just am I even made for healthcare? Like I get stressed so easily. Am I made for healthcare? Like like I think I'm just I think I'm a pretty empathetic person, so I feel like I'd be a good person to have in healthcare because of that, but I don't know if I'd be I don't know if I'm good in a stressful situation. I'm gonna take a walk. Another anxiety walk. <laughs> First one of the week. So I'm gonna take this walk. I'm gonna pick up some body wash from like London Drugs. I'm gonna go home. I don't know, I'm gonna do something about this lecture, something about this chapter, read something, do something, maybe try the modules. I feel like I'm more scared to fail this time than all the other times I failed. And it's because it feels more real this time because I guess I'm kind of trying and I don't know, it feels like if I fail this time, there's no going back from it. Like, it's a, it's a line I've crossed and that's it. And I know that's not true. Like, people can always change. People can always, at any age, at any time, in any place, like, as long as they have the resources, they can achieve what they want to achieve and get better. But this just feels like I need to, I need to give it my all this time. And I guess that's scary because if I fail, then it's like, I feel like that says something about me rather than like just my work ethic or like how much I care about something or my depression. Like if I fail this time while I'm trying, while I'm literally like documenting it, while I'm saying like, okay, this is going to be the time that like I don't fail. If I fail, it's going to be like, okay, is that all I'm worth? Like, is that all I can do? Is that all I'm capable of? And it's scary. <sighs> I've never, I don't think I've talked about like what I want to do ultimately for like career wise, but I eventually want to be a midwife. And in Canada, like there are very, very few midwife programs. Um, it's a bachelor's here. So I think there are, there are like courses that you have to take, but there are specific courses you have to take before applying, but like in BC, there's only one midwife course, I mean midwife program, and it's at UBC. And it's super competitive, like super competitive. And I don't know anyone who's 
hopped onto it. I don't have any connections like as to like, or knowledge as to like, what kind of people get into those programs? What kind of experience do they have? What kind of, like, is it all nurses getting in? Um, you know, what age are people usually at? Like, I don't know anything and it's scary because I feel like most of my life, all the paths I've taken, my sisters have taken before me. And so I've always had some direction, some like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. Like I've always been able to ask for help. And this time I can't ask for help. and I just don't know anybody. So it's scary. I do have some people who are nurses who I can ask about that job. But the reason I'm doing practical nursing first is just because I've learned this about myself, but I, I want to be working as soon as possible. And so I'm doing practical nursing. I'm going to work for a year, or at least this is the plan. I'm doing practical nursing. I'm going to work for a year. I'm going to upgrade to my BSN, maybe work for a little while, try out as many different jobs as I can. Um, hopefully like postpartum, NICU, stuff like that. And then I'm going to apply to the midwifery program at UBC and hopefully, hopefully get in. And obviously this is like a very long in the future plan. But yeah, and lately I was kind of doubting whether I wanted to go along with the midwifery thing and maybe I just wanted to do nursing and that be done because not just because of how long it takes, but I guess I just didn't believe in myself in that I would get into that program because of how difficult it is. And I was scared that I would do all this work and then not get in. And also the lack of work-life balance in midwifery really scares me because I am somebody who really needs balance. So knowing that like I would be on call all the time, I would hardly have any like days off, etc., etc. It kind of scared me. And nurses obviously have three days that they work and um, they have four days off. They can like pick up shifts, but otherwise they um, work three days, 12 hour shifts. And that sounded good to me. I, I've always been a sprinter, like put, all, put my all in all at once. So three days out of the seven, like sprinting seemed like it would be a good option for me, like something I could do. My sister was hospitalized recently and I stayed overnight with her at the hospital and I don't know if it was just the hospital we stayed at because I know that hospital is like notorious for kind of being really crazy and sucking. Like anyone who gets a job there hates it and then immediately tries to get a job somewhere else. Like patients are kind of insane, like all this stuff. And I don't know, I was just listening, like I was trying to sleep in a chair and I couldn't. So I was basically up all night and I was just listening to like the nurses, interacting with patients and stuff. And I heard all kinds of, all kinds of things, just patients being very difficult. Um, someone got called a sand n-word, like a security guard, a security guard got called a sand n-word when they were trying to make a patient like comply to something. And I don't know, it was just like, is this the environment that I want to be in my whole life? Like bedside? I don't know. I don't like, I don't think I think in black and white. Most of the time, I'm not somebody who thinks, okay, I want to do something that helps people. And so I have to do nursing because blah, blah, blah. Like there are other professions where you're helping people and taking care of people. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't think in black and white in the sense that I think nursing is the only job that I should do or can do or healthcare is the only job I should do or can do where I'm helping people and it's funny because I used to joke about like hating people and like not wanting to be around them and blah 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 and now I'm like I specifically want to work in a job where I'm like face to face helping someone um, and healthcare I like that it's like if I pass my NCLEX or I become a practical nurse, I become a regular nurse, like there's no chance that I won't be able to find a job. Job security is really important to me. Also, also my favorite subjects are like English and creative writing and then like biology and sometimes chemistry, though chemistry is like, <laughs> chemistry is debatable. I don't know what I could do with English that I would be happy with and that would have job security and that I wouldn't like feel like maybe I should have done something else. So, and with science, it's like, okay, if you like bio, like job security, of course, healthcare, like that makes sense. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm also good at like compartmentalizing, like almost to a fault, but like I'm good at it. So I think that's a useful thing in healthcare. I don't, I don't think I want nursing to be my like end goal. And I, and I still want to do midwifery, but I don't know if I believe that I can, but I just have to try. Like if I don't try, I'll just never know. And I'll probably regret that for the rest of my life, like not even trying. But obviously in healthcare, if you make a mistake, someone could like be seriously affected forever. And obviously like getting sued is a very real possibility in nursing. And so just, I've been thinking about how, I don't know, like the responsibility of working in healthcare also scares me a little. Yeah, like it's, it's not, I don't know. I don't know if I would call myself faint of heart, but it's not for the faint of heart. And I guess I just need to learn more about myself and see if I'm up to it. But there's nothing else I wanna do. And this is something that I actually care about and feel like I could, could be happy doing. And I just won't know until I do it. And that's scary because of all this time, effort and money I'm gonna put in just to not even know. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that hospital visit really scared me. Like it was, I don't know. to school for my lecture at three um i woke up again i left i wake up earlier but then i don't leave my bed until like 11 30 and i did this yesterday too and i think something just needs to change like the way i'm going now i'm not gonna pass my class like i'm studying but it's not enough so i think i don't know i saw this like 50 75 day hard like however many days people want to do it a challenge that people are doing I'm thinking of trying it and it's not that different from what I'm doing now but like putting a name to it setting up a system might be good for me so I think after class um, I'm going to set some rules for myself the things I'm gonna do every day and just have a checklist to go through every day because I feel like I feel like I kind of have one but I don't have it set in stone like it's just in my head so I don't know, there's something I need to do because at this point I'm not gonna pass my class and I'm just not reaching my goals. So yeah, but class time. It is 3 a.m. Um, I don't know when I fell asleep. I think I'm going to get up at like five or six. It's 3.13 right now. I'm gonna get up at five or six. I'm gonna do my whatever I need to do. And then I'm gonna go to the nearby university library. I'm gonna like get all ready and then I'm gonna go to that library and I'm gonna stay there the entire day. I'm gonna try and study because I'm, I'm just so sick of myself and my like actions i hate that they don't align with my goals like if i want something i need to work for it that's so freaking obvious so do it like to just do it why is it what is stopping me other than myself
I did my makeup and now I'm realizing I need to wuzu so I can read Fudger. <laughs> it's almost two. I'm now leaving the house. I'll be well I'll be there by two. Um I'm gonna study myself for a while and then my friend is gonna meet me. But I don't know, I feel like I'm getting more and more sick of myself and my actions, which apparently is good motivation to change. I don't know, I'm just realizing I've been going too easy on myself. I need to, like, this is all I need to do. This is my one goal for the entire day. Like, everything else can be put on the back burner. Studying needs to be number one. Like, taking care of myself and studying. And so, you know, that's like hygiene, that's praying, that's eating proper meals and stuff. I haven't even been studying two hours a day and I need to be, I've decided the new goal is four hours a day. And you might be like, why are you upping the ammo when you haven't hit the smaller goal? But it's like, I can just, I can picture myself if I keep going the way I'm going, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. And I am just not willing to accept that. Like, I'm not willing to accept it. If I just try, I just have to try. Like, why is trying so hard? <sighs> my actions just don't align with my thoughts and my ambitions, and that needs to change. So we're going to go to the stupid library. We're going to sit down. We're not going to get distracted. And we're going to watch at least the two-hour lecture before my friend meets me in, like two two and a half hours so that is a plan i said we're doing it so we're doing it there's no ifs and if this happens or but if this happens no like it's set in stone we're doing it okay okay Are you not embarrassed? I'm recording you. Oh, shit, just stab it. Stab it. Oh my god, it's, this is why I am. This is why I'm scared. It's like spilling. So I cleaned the house and I feel good, I feel good and um, I don't know, I have a good feeling about today, I feel like I'm going to get everything done that I want to get done. Now I'm just heading to get some like food that I ran out of, yogurt and things like that and then I'm going to go home. I even showered already like, I, and it's funny because it hasn't even been 24 hours since I last showered, I showered last night, but yeah, I'm going to grab some food bring it home, maybe eat a snack, maybe have dinner early and then eat a snack before I go to bed. Um, and we're gonna get home, we're gonna study. We're gonna study. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to study four hours today. That's the goal. And we're gonna make it. I was in there for like 45 minutes. I did not realize, like of course it was gonna take that long. Like it's a Sunday and it's midday, of course everyone and their mother was there, but like, whatever, we're going home now. <laughs>
it's like 2 30 and i'm heading to the library i'm gonna stay there until like 11 to study but tell me why i woke up at like 1 t 1 p.m today tell me why it's like what is wrong with me oh my god i think i slept 11 hours <sighs> this is like <laughs> it's kind of unacceptable like and I like, got chewed out by my mom, rightfully so. And so that made me feel worse. But it's just like, what does it take to like get me to change for real? Like I feel like I've been making progress, but like not as quickly as I want to. And I just don't know if it's gonna be enough to like get to my goal. So I'm gonna have to step on the gas a little bit for it. But yeah, we're gonna go study. My friend might meet, meet up with me after work at like 4.30. I was gonna go to get like a samosa, but I don't feel like walking down to where <laughs> the store is. So I might, I packed some snacks or I might just get some pizza if I get hungry before I leave, which I probably will. Hopefully we get a lot of studying done today. I only got two hours done today, which I'm like really, like, I don't know, it's great that I'm studying every day even if it's just a little bit, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Your item moves, it's over tonight 